here we are with Mushoku Tensei episode one. So yeah, if you like what you see, leave a like, subscribe, or comment. Let me know what you think. And we'll say let's get to the episode. Damn. Truck Kun strikes again. What happened? Did he save them? <laughs> or something? Let's talk. <laughs> He's dying. Huh? What's your name? <laughs> Is this a real language? Or is this like something they just made themselves up? Hell yeah. Does he realize it now? Yeah. What are those baby hands? <laughs> of course, my man. That's interesting, right? Hey, she gave birth to me in this world, so even if I'm not really a child, I don't have any affection to, towards her, like, in that sense. <clears throat> interesting that he still acts like a child. <laughs> oh my god. Oh boy. But <laughs> he is a little pervert. One might think so. But the reality is different. I mean, I guess there are still places like this in real life, so... I mean, not every place in the world is highly advanced.
<laughs> Are they like rich or something? If they have a mate? <laughs> this must be very interesting right if you get to a world and then this happens and you're like what the fuck This is a very interesting twist because normally when someone gets into an isekai world, <clears throat> they're not babies, right? So, the, so getting this side where you are basically reborn as a baby is interesting. His love. Adventurer gear. <clears throat> and. Okay, I thought he would be <laughs> locked inside. That happened to me. We had like a chest like that. And I went inside and the lock snapped down and I was inside. And I couldn't get out by myself. It was when I was a kid like. Five years or four years old or some shit or three years old. Makes sense. I guess incantations are just like speaking, right? What the mother did, did with the healing. And then circles are probably like you have to draw them. <coughs> First try success. Ooh. <laughs> oh. That was a nice animation. <laughs> and now it blasts them away. <laughs> Too much power. Because he's focusing more now, I guess, right? Okay, no. <laughs> but he fell down <laughs> and he wet his pants. All right, I didn't pay attention to that. And he does it again. 
force on him. Oh, okay, what was that? Interesting. They thought he peed himself. Just say it, I cast some magic. Is he trying to increase his mana? I guess he's special because his mother needed incantations. <laughs> Wait for the legs. That's a penis. Hello. <laughs> From lively parents. Who knows? <laughs> that would make sense if that's how it works. <laughs> Hasn't learned that yet. The dad is training again. And the girls like him. <laughs> oh, the the water wall flew. I did it. I have to rewatch this episode to get all the details. So you said it in your mind, I guess, right? You imagine that the ball flies, I guess? What's intermediate? Fireball. Burn everything. Flash flow. Well, that was gone. <laughs> Holy shit. I hope the parents have insurance. <laughs> but I think it doesn't exist in this world yet. <laughs> They're happy. <laughs> She's happy like, oh, my boy is so good. <laughs> oh, boy. I guess they must be somewhat rich because the adventurer or were 
So I guess they made some good money with it. If they can have a mate and can get a tutor for him. <clears throat> Make him well rounded. That's some nice parents, I would say. Oh, hello. Oh, okay. <laughs> I guess that's how you would imagine a, a tutor for magic. <laughs> I want to marry her. That's good. <laughs> I love the inner monologue. <laughs> Show him proof or wrong. Yeah, she's not really buying it, but she takes the money. Interesting way how he acts sometimes, like like a real child, right? Damn. <laughs> Does he need to pee? Of course, everyone needs it, <laughs> but he doesn't. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> I guess the mother doesn't care if it's for his tutelage. Ooh, you can use healing for this too, <laughs> and it grow even more. That's interesting. <laughs> She's flustered. Is he using incantations or not? So he uses an incantation. <laughs> My man. I usually just skip it. <laughs> I had him completely wrong. God damn it. What did he destroy? The tree. <laughs> hmm. 
Damn. Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> and his smile. I guess she Okay, I, I I thought she maybe would be pissed. Like, dude, this arrogant little shit. <laughs> He's nice. <clears throat> I guess she keeps the job, obviously. You train my little boy. <laughs> this must be special for Roxy. <clears throat> I guess she maybe just scraps by and can't afford good food like this and needs the job basically. That's what it seems like at least. Damn. All right. Let's listen to the ending. I wonder if is this the ending or is this the opening? Maybe I guess it's the ending, right? <clears throat> so far, I really like it. It looks amazing. The premise is nice. How everything begins. But I've heard some controversy about this. <clears throat> I mean, controversy for other people. I think when it came out, like around uh, around episode 6 or 7, I've heard that some people dropped it because of some controversial stuff. And I'm pretty sure when I see it, I will be like, I like it. <laughs> it's cool. Let's go. <laughs> so we will see. But I think I've heard some controversial stuff about this. But yeah, what others find often controversial, I'm like, yeah, pff, it's cool. I like it. Like Goblin Slayer. The beginning of Goblin Slayer, people, very controversial for some people. And, and I'm sitting here and be like, hey, that's awesome. Let's go. I love it. I think it's interesting. But yeah, I have to rewatch the episode. Okay, that was the episode. Let me know what you think. But yeah, very, very interesting, I would say. Um, the whole like concept of the beginning here is very interesting. Like, like I said in the episode, I think it's very interesting that you start with being reborn as a baby, basically, and you just grow up, right? I mean, we had. An isekai anime, not isekai, but we had an anime where something like this happened, which was Misfit of the Demon Academy, where Arnos Voldigord um, died, and then 2000 years later he gets resurrected by himself, basically. <laughs> and he starts as a baby, but like, what was it, one month later or so, or three months later, he was already like grown up. And here it actually is like you get reborn as a, and he could talk as a baby. He came out and the and the parents were like, what should we call him? And he's like, Arnos Voldigoro in his normal voice. And it's like, what the fuck? Um, <clears throat> so here it's just you get reborn as a baby and you are a baby. And then you grow up, but you have like your mindset of your former self, right? <clears throat> so the whole concept is already very interesting, I would say. It's very different because normally in other isekais you just get 
reincarnated in a different world and you are yourself basically just in a different world <clears throat> with some op powers but i mean it seems like this character is also very op because he because from what we know <clears throat> based on your birth like when you get born you're already like set with how much potential you have in magic and you need normally incantations and for him it seems like <clears throat> His magic just increases as more as he uses it, which could be normal. I mean, we don't know all the details, but from we just know you are born and you're already like have a fixed stat basically. And here he can increase his mana or his magic by using it more often. And he already is like very well talented in it, I would say, right? He's like basically, basically a prodigy and <clears throat> he doesn't even need incantations, which seems to be normal by Roxy's. Um, reaction when he said that he normally skips them so i guess that's not something normal right that he can just use it without incantations <clears throat> um and so yeah i guess he ha has just like a lot of potential and is a bit broken i guess <laughs> i guess maybe he can like increase his magic infin uh, in infinitely uh just as the more he uses it the more he can get stronger i guess there must be maybe a limit because otherwise he can just use magic over and over and over again and over the years he just gets incredibly strong right so i guess there might be some limit or maybe there is some like <clears throat> um, some soft cap and that at some point it just like diminishing re diminishing return um but yeah, so far he seems like he has more potential as, as some other people right um from the reactions of roxy and stuff and <clears throat> yeah the scene was the, the beginning scene was very interesting i think when you see what happened and everything and then it's like these voices from the other world while he gets born uh, coming over <clears throat> with a different language which i was wondering about like is this a real language they talk at the beginning is this like maybe i don't know it seemed a bit like swedish i would say or something like that i would say i don't know um or is that like just some made up language <clears throat> and i was wondering because they said that uh students also got hit by the bus or something uh, by the truck or something and they were missing so i was wondering maybe he rescued them maybe he pushed them out of the way because he saw that the, that the truck came i don't know maybe we will find out about what happened that day later or not and then yeah i think it's very interesting because like we said um he is a baby right <clears throat> but he has a mindset of like a 34 35 year old and it's interesting that he still like sometimes reacts like a child would do right um He's a bit clumsy. He falls over. He, uh, when when they when the mother thought he had peed himself, he was crying because of it. Because he's like, yeah, they shouldn't think that I'm still peeing myself, right? Um, he had a bit of tears in his eyes, and so sometimes he reacts like. Oh, when Roxy started training with him, he like hugged his dad closely, right? He didn't want to let go, so he reacts like a child. I mean. That could be maybe because he's in a child body that the body just reacts like a child, right? He can't do anything against it because children are sometimes more sensitive, right? This would be my guess. Otherwise, I'm wondering why he acts that way if he is just like based on this normal mindset, right? <clears throat> because, I mean, otherwise he fell down and they were like, he fell down and he didn't cry. If he would just react based on the body like about stuff then he should have cried me because he's a child right and if a child falls from that height most would cry i would say right i mean i guess there are cases where children w wouldn't cry really right so interesting why he acts sometimes like a child would or maybe it's just an act <laughs> um what i also think is interesting is that in this episode alone i i feel like there were many moments where he could have told the truth but he just didn't say anything like when he peed himself he could have said i used magic <clears throat> i used a water ball and it fell on me and i got wet and i passed out from mana <laughs> but i guess that would maybe be weird if they were like dude you already know about ma magic and mana and can use magic uh, so maybe he just hit hit it because too much information right because he's just a child wanted to play it safe maybe and or when uh roxy 
when he destroyed the tree after Roxy and the mother came out and was like, Roxy, you shouldn't use my tree as a test, sub uh, test subject, whatever. Um, he could have said eh, that was me, but he didn't say anything. He just, yep, Roxy. <laughs> Uh, he just let Roxy take all the blame, so I feel like there are some moments where he could say something, and he doesn't. So, yeah. And, yeah, when it comes to Roxy, I think, she seems young, I mean, I guess she is young, right? Um, maybe talented at magic, maybe. I mean, she says she can use healing magic up to intermediate level, which is the second out of seven so i guess magic uh, healing magic is not like her main stuff right so i guess other magic is way higher i guess so she might be talented for her age maybe um that she is a tutor too um because i guess not everyone can be a tutor right and from what it seems like she i would say i guess she needs that money right because she thought that what's his name rule the dip Rudy? Ruby? Uh, where is it? Uh, Rudy. Um, because she said that he would be a dud, right? That she, uh, that he wouldn't probably have any talent. Uh, that just the uh, parents hype him up because he has some uh, talent for it, right? But she didn't expect anything from it. And I guess she could have denied the job, right? Declined. But she took it because I guess she needs money. Because she was like, dude, I already screwed it up and I get, I guess I get fired tomorrow, right? Um, and when she saw the food on the table, she had like sparkling eyes and everything. Uh, so I guess that something like that is normal for her. Like, lots of food, good food. <clears throat> so I guess, like I said, I guess she might just scrap by, right? Just make bare minimum living um, to get around, I would guess, from my first... Uh, impression on her but she seems nice right and like i said yeah it's she kind of confirms that incantations are normally normally normal <laughs> and not using incantations is weird <clears throat> and yeah i think it was funny when he <laughs> tried to cheer her up that he is like hey you didn't screw up you just gained experience and then his smirky smile right well, I would think that she would see him as arrogant, but she took it like, yep, you're right. She took it nice in a nice way, and which I think is surprising. And then, yeah, I mean, the parents, obviously, one, the dad is a knight that is basically protecting this village, I guess. That's why they can afford a maid, I guess, and the tutor and everything, and have a decent life, I guess. And the mother is... An adventurer was an adventurer and can use healing magic and i guess the, the dad was is a knight but he was an adventurer i think they said both were adventurers and nice parents i would say right <laughs> and very lively right <laughs> in the bed <laughs> um so yeah um something i noticed which i think is very interesting is that when he used magic it starts at his feet and goes up the whole body to his head and then it goes into the arms so i wonder if that if there's some meaning behind it that it starts at the feet and goes up i would say maybe because you maybe you take the energy out of the ground but when he was on the window his feet didn't touch the ground and it still came from the feet so i think that's interesting that it starts at the feet i wonder if like i said i wonder if there's like some deeper meaning behind it or not all your magic is in, in the feet <laughs> <laughs> Maybe <laughs> I doubt it and Yeah, I mean the maid obviously also already knew that Rudy is a Special boy, right? <laughs> she knows what he is up to <laughs> a bit and yeah The mother and the dad are definitely like completely loving of him What I was what, what I think it was interesting is when he fell down and the dad came in and it's like dude I hear I heard something what is what happened and the mother was like yeah, he fell down and the dad, I thought the dad would come running to him and be like, Oh, Rudy, are you fine? But he's like, yeah, he will fall down. That's normally the child. And the whole dialogue when Roxy came and he's like, yeah, who would come out here? It's probably some old 
bearded guy that screams mage, right? I mean, I guess that's what everyone would think like, right? Not that there comes a young girl. <laughs> Overall, man, I, I have to say I really like the anim the quality. It looks amazing. I love it. It's very well animated. And so far, I love it. <clears throat> like I said, there are some, I wouldn't say flaws, but like things where I'm wondering like, why is he, for example, not saying anything when he could to explain stuff, right? Like with the... Him destroying the tree, not Roxy, which I think is a bit, feels a bit weird to me. But like I said, I guess maybe because he's a child, he doesn't want to come across as too adult-like and wise and stuff, right? To keep up the appearance that he is a child or something, I don't know. Um, but yeah, otherwise, very interesting. I love it so far. Can't wait for more. And especially the end, right? Where he is like... This feels like a dream maybe this is the dream i have while i'm dying and even if then i don't regret i don't mind it right and he's like but hey even in this world i can start i can redo my life basically and work for it right like everybody else put some effort in it and instead of becoming like a, a someone that is like what did what did he say um reclusive bum and jobless instead of that i can become like a good person right uh, he said okay he just said get serious about my living about living so i think that's very interesting right that he takes this as a chance <clears throat> to do over his life basically and just instead of making the same mistakes as in his previous life just try to improve on his on himself as a person and become a better and become a better self right which i think is very interesting and so yeah is there anything else i want to say um i mean yeah the mother has a good body right <laughs> uh, but otherwise i would say that's all i guess i talked about everything basically yeah i loved it awesome can't wait for more so yeah if you like what you saw leave a like subscribe or comment let me know what you think and i'll say thanks for watching until next time bye bye